Here's a 2013 Dodge Ram 4500 Wrecker. This does have the 6.7 liter turbo diesel Cummins engine in it. Now this truck obviously as you can see it is a, it's a damaged truck. Uh, the cab got crushed down a little bit right here and of course it damaged the doors on both sides. Uh, this fender here, yes this fender here has got damage from the door. And then as you can see there's front bumper damage, uh, the grill's cracked a little there. This fender looks perfect. I don't see any damage on that fender at all. And of course this door is damaged as well. I uh, don't really know the story of this truck at all. Um, to be honest with you, we bought the truck for the wrecker body itself. The wrecker body is in great condition. Uh, this truck does not run and drive currently. I can tell you, I, I don't know if it rolled over into a ditch or something like that that had some water in it or what the deal is, but I can see moisture here in the headlights. See this headlight here has got moisture in it as well. So we, uh, we pulled off the intake and as you can see in the turbo there was a little bit of water there in the turbo. And we did take an inspection cover off the bottom of the engine and we can turn the engine over by hand but the engine will not start. Um, you know we unplugged everything here trying to look for the source. Um, you know the batteries were out of it of course and I can't figure out the source of anything. You know, here's the fuse block. You know, that looks pretty clean. I don't see any signs of anything weird in there. Um, you know, there's no weird corrosion here on the wires. I don't know what the deal is with this truck or what happened to it. Um, but like I say, you know, there was water in the turbo. The turbo does not turn. If I stick my hand down in there and try to turn the turbine, the turbo does not turn whatsoever. So it will need a new turbo at the very least. course the hood so it's kind of up to you if you want to repair the truck it's supposed to have about 10,000 miles on it of course there's a lot of body panels that's got to get replaced you know fenders are about a hundred bucks hoods about a hundred bucks we can find them for you the doors are about 300 a piece and we found a complete cab with glass for six hundred and fifty dollars of course then you got to sort out uh, you know if there is any engine problems whatsoever like I say the engine turns over fine if you crawl underneath but the interior with the windshield being broke out and you know this window here is still intact but the other three windows were out of it and because of that all of the electronics are wet. You can see that there's rust here on the keys so moisture has gotten inside this cab. Nothing powers on whatsoever except for one little red light comes on in the dash. The gauges won't move whatsoever. You can see the cluster is stuck here at about 8 mile an hour. And it was just idling. So whatever it did when it hit water or whatever, I don't know, like I said, I don't know if it rolled over in a ditch or something like that, but whenever, you know, it stopped. It stopped at that temperature. And see, that's the temperatures it was. So that's kind of stopped dead cold there, the dash did. Um, but like I say, the engine turns over just fine. Now the, uh, the oil drain plug was also removed out of this truck. I don't think you can see it very well. But the engine oil drain plug was pulled out of it. Maybe you can see it there. We didn't pull it out so there's no oil in the truck whatsoever right now. You say It's up to you if you want to repair this truck or if you want to part it out. And it does have the nice, uh, I believe it's the uh, Cola aluminum rims there. Running boards, you know, the record bodies alone on these things are worth, you know, probably around 20000 or so for the record body in used condition. Since it's a 13, this is fiberglass body. Here's the tires. Again, they're, they're solid 19 and a half inch aluminum wheels. This side here has just got some very minor scratches on it, no big deal.
tail light here, tail light's cracked there. And then this side here has got some pretty good scratches on it. Going right up the edge. You now you could fix it, paint it, put some undercoating on it, kind of make undercoating like rhino liner, the bed liner there, or just the, the rail here if you want, cover it up. The light pylon bar there looks perfect. I don't see any damage to that whatsoever. Of course, the light bar itself is a little bent and wobbly. You might be able to save that if you take it apart and straighten out this aluminum here underneath. I don't see any rust on it. This is just dust here, dirt dust. You can see it hasn't been used very much at all. There's hardly any scratches here that you usually get on them. Again, I know water got inside the cab. Nothing feels wet as far as the seats go. You know, they feel dry. They could have dried out. I'm not sure what's going on there. But again, none of the electronics work on the dash. I don't know if you need just a cluster or a computer or what the deal is there. But uh, the way that I see it, um, you know, Record Body's probably worth around 20 grand or so 15 20 grand something like that the chassis cab alone i mean you got a good rear end the rear end sell for about a thousand the uh the transmissions i believe are around two or three thousand these engines are six to eight thousand dollars or so um and of course if they're in good running condition i know they're worth around three thousand dollars as just a core so even as non-running condition as a core it's worth around 3000 Your hydraulic clutch pump down here, that's worth about $1,000 for the kit. And of course you have all your suspension, uh, your cooling components down there, radiators and so on. Now your running boards are worth probably 100 200 bucks a piece. Your rims and tires are worth, I don't know, probably around... Uh, around two thousand dollars fifteen hundred two thousand dollars i'm guessing uh, for a full set of six actually looks like we've got a tail light here there's actually water in that tail light Show you one more time here in the truck. Uh, not seeing really any coolant in there whatsoever. Here's your power steering fluid. How well you can see down in there at all. Power steering fluid's up to about right there. Brake fluid, you can see is full to here. Mission. Put the dipstick in here really quick. And of course, there's no oil in it, as I stated before. So I, I, and I wasn't the one who pulled out the oil drain plug, so I don't know where it is. I know there's no oil in it, um, so I won't bother pulling out the oil dipstick. I don't know if you can see anything down in the oil reservoir there or not, or the valve cover. So 
the washer fluid. That's about all I think I can tell you about this truck. Uh, I'll try to be as honest as I can. It's up to you, I guess. Like I say, if you want to part out the truck, uh, build your own wrecker, everything's here. Or if you want to try fixing this truck up, it's a 2013 two wheel drive with the diesel automatic it's 4500 series this truck with a clean title and no damage if you had it in perfect condition they sell for around fifty five sixty thousand dollars of course with a salvage title i'm guessing this truck would probably bring around forty thousand maybe more again if it's in uh, fully functional repaired condition if you have any questions, feel free to email us. Thank you very much. I can tell you this truck uh, did come from Tennessee. Obviously I know it came from Tennessee. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to email us. Thank you very much.